Hello again, it's James Leichter. We just finished our weekly web-based television show and the topic of sales commissions came up once again. I say once again because it's really a popular topic. How to pay salespeople, what commission rate should I establish? One of the interesting twists today was how to create incentives to get salespeople to sell at higher gross profit margins. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that today. There's several ways to approach this. It depends on your company's culture, depends on how big your company is, but here's some things to think about. First thing, cookbook pricing. Simply establish cookbook pricing for system changes, condensing unit change outs, thermostats, humidification systems, air filtration systems, UV, all your accessories. Create a menu like a menu at a restaurant. You know I'm a big fan of flat rate pricing, right? So it's the same concept. Create a menu of pricing for all of your common change outs. You could have a good, better, best, or you could have the platinum, the gold, the bronze, the copper. You've seen those before. But create cookbook pricing or menu pricing and then simply pay a higher commission rate on the better systems. Also, if you do create cookbook pricing, don't forget that you as the sales manager, the owner of the company, whoever's in charge of this, you would create daily, weekly, monthly incentives. So this month we might be offering a free setback thermostat and air filtration system with a super high efficient system change out, something to that effect. So at any given moment, your salespeople will be able to share with your clients the uh, special of the day, if you will. There's another way, and that is simply pay a commission based on gross profit margin. So you might pay your salespeople 10 or 12% of the sales price. Consider paying 20, 24% of the gross profit dollars. And that would give some incentive for salespeople to sell at a higher gross profit. You also might create what I'll call a sliding scale. You would create a, ta a table and maybe across the top would be the commission you'll pay and along the side would be the gross profit margin. So let's say for example you do residential change outs and your gross profit margin is anywhere from 35 to 50 percent gross profit. What you might do is list those gross profit targets along with the commission that you'll be offering if those margins, those profits are achieved. So those are some ways to look at it. My favorite way though is to create cookbook pricing, menu pricing, and have consistent retail pricing in your company. Have a series of specials that are going on at all times and those specials can get better and better as your company gets slower and slower and you can lift those incentives, those specials, when you're swamped. But that's my favorite method of doing it. That way your company has established consistent retail pricing and with that you tie in the exact commission the salesperson's going to get when they make that particular sale. So there's a lot more we could talk about. We could spend an hour talking about this topic and still not exhaust it, but I like to keep these relatively short. Uh, if your attention spans like mine, you know why, and it gives us something to talk about. Hopefully you'll post your comments on this and we can talk about it further. Thank you.